Hello there. So, for those who have a Stinson 108 Voyager and have had issues with fuel leaking from the top of the tank through the filler cap, there is a solution. And that solution is to install in this little uh, reinforcement plate that has these dome caps in it. But originally they used uh, Tenerman nuts, sort of like these. And what would happen is the any fuel could get through the screw and then past the hole in the filler neck right here or also uh, on some caps made by Univer they they didn't use a the appropriate cap and it had an additional vent that's underneath so I actually have both styles uh, this one is an original from 1947 and you can see it's got a little plate in here and that kind of helps uh, put pressure on the seal. And then inside here, you see there's no, there's no additional holes other than the tube itself for the vent, which is, comes up through here. This one is one of those that Univer had sold that has a vent not only get it up here in the light there's a hole right there but I also went in here and very carefully it's not the most beautiful weld I've ever done but I didn't want to burn through just to fill up that hole that connects to this one right here and that will hopefully prevent any additional fuel from leaking past the seal that goes right here. I know there's a guy who makes these little uh, uh, adapter plates for your filler necks and it looks like this. Uh, I actually happened to fabricate one of these and what I did was I, I made a template off of my old filler, filler neck and installed these uh, nut plates um, and they're just on with solid countersunk rivets. So, um, we'll go show you how we put these on. I'll link the uh, the part numbers for these. Um, you can buy these from Spruce and with a little bit of sheet metal wizardry um, and if you have that ability you can make these. So, I'm going to kind of briefly go over how I constructed one of these adapter rings for the fuel filler. So I believe I used a piece of either, looks like either 40 or 50 thousandths aluminum. And I used the filler neck as a template. So as you can see, the, uh, the holes match up with, uh, with the adapter ring. And then I just simply mounted some of these uh, cap nut plates so that no fuel can go through and get up through the screws. Additionally, on this cap, I filled the hole that was used for the original vent uh, before this was modified. I believe Univer did these, we're selling these for a while, but the new ones are much better. They're like a solid top, kind of expensive, but uh, so I just modified mine to uh, not puke out any fuel up through that hole anymore. So, and I did that by just lightly brazing that hole. One helpful tip is your ring for your little chain lanyard. I suggest you put that in first and clock it into between the two flanges before you put this in the tank because it is a bear trying to get this thing in from the top side. So we do that first and then uh, we'll go up on the wing. All right, now that we're up here on top, I'll take off my protective covering. Head on here to keep the junk out. And we're gonna start with the adapter ring. Now there's a slot in here and that allows the adapter ring to be able to go inside the tank here and we're gonna 
rotate it around very carefully not to scratch any paint. And then you do want to hang on to it. You do not want to be fishing this thing out of the bottom of the tank. So. I have lost my orientation on the your index, you just have to tighten up your tank, so that's going to go to here. So now that I know which hole is going to be my front, front or back, it's 180 degrees, it's, it doesn't matter. What does what is important is the way that tank is, the filler neck, is clocked into the tank. So, we have this is the fun part. So, have to hang on to the adapter while I put the seal inside the tank. It's a little bit of a finger gymnastics here. And then when I do that, I want to line up my hole with, so I've got the gasket over that hole and the inside one, this, this adapter ring really doesn't matter what direction. This doesn't have to be clocked on the inside, just the filler neck has to be clocked. So, another uh, helpful tool is a, uh, a little pokey thing. Hope you line up the holes. And then our outside seal goes on top very carefully to hold that all in place. Keeping track of which hole is supposed to be going forward so I can actually this doesn't even have to be over the hole for this portion of it. However my pokey thing I'm going to kind of keep that handy. Another tip is if you uh, if you have any electric screwdrivers or any kind of cordless device to try and install one of these, keep it in your toolbox. Do not use any type of electric uh, anything that's got an electric motor while you're working around fuel systems because there's a little tiny spark inside that motor that you're using and the fumes will get ignited by it so you should be using a screw stick and just uh, basically just need to get it started and then I can let go Another helpful tent tip <clears throat> when uh, re when installing any multi-hole panel part is get all your screws started first. Don't just start torquing them down because you could get a little side load on a panel or a part and. you'll get to the last screw and you, that last screw just won't want to go 
and it's because the little tiny movements from the part not being securely centered or properly centered see that one didn't want to start going till now So I'm just going <clears> to <throat> really quickly just snug all these down and then torque them and then uh, kind of do a little review. And I'm kind of going in a uh, pattern. So I'm doing about, a, I do this one, that one, that one, that one, that one, and that one, or some, some semblance thereof. Be technical about everything you should really if you want to torque wrench these that's fine I'm, I'm using German torque which is probably, uh, probably 60 to 80 inch pounds is good enough for these which is just just tight enough I did this correctly. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. So, the only thing I have to do now is uh, just reach in here, grab my chain. I got a little, uh, a little clippy do the chain onto the cap, and then we're done. So, but there you have it. So, um, yeah, super easy. Um, I'll link. Um, I'll add the uh, part numbers for the nut plates in the description and there's also a gentleman who actually makes those pre-made adapter rings. Um, I can't remember his name or off the, off the top of them, uh, but look down, I'll, I'll put the description down, or I'll put his name down in the description. So um, I hope this was helpful, informative, if you have any problems, questions, you know, feel free to leave a, leave a comment or uh, send me an email at freedomfixer at gmail. So, thanks.